हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल ऑटोमेशन विथ अर्नब आई एम अर्नब सो होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल सो इन टूडे आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू टेक स्क्रीन शॉट यूजिंग ए पी एम नॉट ओनली टेकिंग द स्क्रीन शॉट फॉर अ फुल स्क्रीन ऑल्सो आई विल डिस्कस हियर टू टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर एलिमेंट ओके सो विच इज़ वेरी रिक्वायर्ड आई फाउंड दैट समटाइम्स वी नीड टू एड टेक द स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर एलिमेंट एक्चुअली ओके टू एड अटैच दैट पर्टिकुलर इमेज the screenshot with the report automation report actually okay so let's start so here today i am going to use uh, the sky scanner app and first what i'll do that so first i'll show you guys that how to take screenshot of this full screen then i'll discuss about to take screenshot for a particular element okay first what i have did that so this is the same uh, thing okay so how i am initializing the driver uh, with apm 2.0 okay and so there is a method i have written to take the screenshot full screen uh, the screen uh, full screen screenshot actually and i am passing the driver actually okay only the driver so here you can see that first what i am doing that so just keep in your mind that try to write this kind of code inside try catch block because this can throw exception okay so that you can catch that exception okay and i am not using any other suppose you can say that any other particular file type or something like that or so that you have to add particular any jar with you know, with your project it's not like that okay so what i have did that first i have taken one variable of file type okay which is uh, java io okay you can see and i am initializing as a null first then what i am doing that using the driver i am taking the screenshot as a file okay you can get these things in a documented selenium documentation also okay that file is my source file this is the raw file actually first raw file then what i am doing that i am giving the path actually so what i am doing that i am creating a screenshot folder slash this is udid this is java.util you can get this one okay udid dot random udid so that what i am doing this one you can give any other if you want to give any particular name you can use that name sorry or if you want to because what i am why i am using because if you take screenshot of multiple time it will give the multiples different name every time each and every run okay so that's why i am using this one and for uh, giving the okay so let's still this one it's not but okay for the image type i am using here dot png that's why i am giving the dot png file okay next is that the screenshot location what is the location i am uh, using here i have already declared that variable okay outside the try catch block here with the new file i am creating the new path actually uh, location actually you can say uh, so that is system dot get property the user directory it will get the automatically your project path then slash and this path this path is what is that a screenshot folder if it is not there it will create that folder if it is there it will not create okay and with this one next i am using the file utils dot copy files what it will do it will using this source file this is the raw file okay and it will take that file and it will copy that so uh, image to that screenshot location means that this file location okay and after that i am printing that location actually screenshot location you can find that location and also i am returning that location also with this method you can see that the return type is a string i have declared okay so let's run this code okay and let's see what will happen there is no compilation error just launched the application done so you can see that in my console i can see the path okay so see user or now weekly box was it have been whatever screenshot folder you can see that screenshot folder was not there earlier now it have created that folder and inside that that file we have created okay so now you can say that why i am using this line here to create the path okay so 
here what I am creating that I am creating a file location actually okay so file location inside that file room what I am doing that using that file utils.copy file I am taking the raw file raw image file and pushing that copy image file to that particular location okay that's why I am using this one so I think you guys understand this one I'll upload this code okay in my github repository and I'll share with you guys you guys can get this code from the description of the video okay next is that how to take the screenshot of a particular element which is very required I in my experience I have found that one okay so first you have to identify the element actually so I have identified the element using this one okay so I am taking this flight icon actually okay next is that I have written a method where I am taking parameter as a driver APM driver and the web element so let's first discuss the code actually then I'll run this code first is that same okay I'm taking the full screen screenshot okay then what I am doing that I am converting that source file to buffered image okay so I am using image dot image io dot read using that source raw file okay and converting that full image then what I am doing that I have that element so I am get, uh, getting the location of that element okay on the page okay from point using point okay this is a selenium point you can use and as you guys can see that it will work with your old apm1 dot in version 1 and apm2 also it will work okay using this point okay I'll use later I will get the X and Y coordinate and also I am getting the height and width of that particular element okay next what I am doing that again I am creating an another buffered image variable element screenshot I have my full screen image full screen uh, image actually you can say that's an image only screenshot dot get sub image and if you are going to use sub image then you have to provide the x coordinate y coordinate then element width and element height so in the mean that from the full screen image I am taking a I am cropping actually I am cropping this particular portion okay with this element so then is same so after that what I am doing that okay so let's uh, next I am using image.io to write that one okay and converting this one to a raw file to be a why it's required because to write because buffered image we have to convert into file to write in that folder okay to keep in that folder and the rest of the thing is same like that I have already discussed for how to take the screenshot for full screen in that area okay otherwise same okay let's run this code it's very simple actually okay So I'm again I am deleting this folder so that you guys can understand. it's done you can see that screen short folder is there the particular element the sky the flight icon okay so I think you guys understand this one and again I am telling one more time so first you have to take the first step is that you have to take the screenshot of full screen the raw file then convert your raw file into buffered image and in the parallel next step is that get the location of your element get the height and width of your element using the location means the x and y coordinate and element height and width we will crop the element image from the full screen image and after that i will write that uh, buffered image the cropped image into a particular of uh, the raw file paste after that i will save that file uh, raw file into a screenshot folder okay and converting into png file 
that's it that's the steps actually so it's very easy you guys can use in your uh, code these methods you guys can directly use i'll upload this code as i already mentioned that uh, in my GIF, github uh, github repository and i'll share this code with you guys so that you guys can directly use this code if or if you want to write this code by your own you can take the reference of this code okay thank you and if you have any doubt uh, just do a comment on this video and i'll try to explain that one okay thank you and if you guys also want a particular uh, vid up if you want to uh, want to know about a particular topic or if you want to want me to create a tutorial on any particular topic you guys can also uh, do comment on the comment on the video okay and if you like this video please share with others okay and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you